Hello, I'm JJ Davis, and welcome to our latest edition of the Bluff Sports Zone. Well, this is it, baby, and I'm not just talking another graphic edge bowl, because this is not just another game. For my money, Iowa Western has a lot more on the line than just another one in the win column. You see, the Reavers bumped out of the national championship picture get the next best thing. Another school from the so-called Little SEC. Another team just itching with talent and just dying to prove that it's as good as the Big Blue and more. After all the talk, it's time. First quarter already up three to zip. The Rangers drive 99 yards in nine plays. Quarterback Jack Abraham, the quarterman Sloan, off to the races, 32 yards. Abraham, then a quick slant to Javonta Payton, 11 yards for the score, 10-0 Northwest Mississippi. But the Reavers respond, QB Kai Loxley, 17 yards first down. Loxley, who was 22 of 34 in the first half alone, hits Anthony Turner down to the eight. Two plays later, number three to number eight again. Seven yard TD strike, coach and QB down 10-7 after one. Big Blue misses a 45 yard field goal. The dark side steps up, picked off by Kyle Hemby. The red shirt freshman in and out down to the Ranger 27 yard line. Eddie Ogamba is good this time from 28 yards out, tie game. Just over five minutes left in the half. Iowa Western, nine play, 71 yard drive. Kai Loxley, four straight completions. Vincent Perry, one of his 14 catches for 109 yards, including this five yard touchdown grab. The home team heads into the break, having scored 17 unanswered points. Third quarter, Jack Abraham and the visitors marked 73 yards. The quarterback, 20 of 39, 209 yards and two TDs. Ouch. This 14-yarder to Pro Wells cuts the lead to 17-16. Iowa Western storms right back, 84 yards the other way. Makai Sargent for 28. The redshirt freshman, 127 of his 144 yards in the second half. Kai Loxley finishes it off. Nobody's home from 10 yards out, 24-16. The Rangers cut it to 24-19 in the fourth. Reavers respond again. Loxley, his third TD pass of the day. Three yards to Mike Hill, 29-19. Next drive, the Redshirt sophomore, 31 of 45, 270 yards on the run to Mike Hill. Nick Singleton with the exclamation point. Extra, extra effort. Coach Scott Stromine, all wet. Third rank Iowa Western humbles number five Northwest Mississippi, 36-19. I'm so happy for our guys because we answered in the second half. Every time they scored, we answered the bell, which I thought was huge. I felt like the up-tempo offense was the difference maker along with your quarterback. You tired them out. They couldn't keep setting the defense, et cetera. And, that's, and honestly, that's what the plan was coming in. Like we had, That's why we had to sustain some drives. And then when you go into the third and fourth quarter, that's when it's really gonna, we're going to see the result. They came out quick, man. We knew they were going to have some energy. But, you know, just like this season, we continue to keep striving and just having confidence and faith in ourselves. And, you know, our team came out strong. It came down to the run game. They they keyed on the pass first half, but I knew I knew we had to put the ball on the ground, you know. And o, the O line helped out a lot with that. Just that edge we got here, at Iowa Western. We got that we got that dog in them. Like I like to say, we got that dog. We like we don't we don't stop until we the game over. With. <laughs> We felt like we had, to, we had something to prove, you know, they, uh, with the rankings and stuff like that. We felt like we had to come out and prove to everybody we're the best team in the country. We had to prove um, you know, to our two NJ, or junior college world that, you know, we're a pretty darn good football team. And, um, you know, I, don't, I said it a long time ago, I said it about week seven, I thought Northwest Mississippi was the best team. Uh, top team in the country, and uh, they, they lived up to it today, but we're pretty good too. The Reavers close out their season in style. Iowa Western ends the year at a stellar 11-1. Big Blue now 5-1 in the graphic edge bowl.